Hey everybody, it's been a while since I've done a hidden feature video, so let's go. Alright, so did you know that the gallery on your Samsung smartphone has a lot of cool settings that are actually hidden from you? To enable them, go into the gallery settings and then scroll all the way down to about gallery. Now here, repeatedly tap on the version until you see a message, gallery labs is enabled. So this unlocks a secret menu which contains a lot of cool settings and features that were hidden from you. Now here, one setting that I absolutely recommend that you change is the video player mode. Thing is, whenever you open a video in the gallery, the seek bar is this film strip at the bottom of the screen which is not accurate and it is super annoying. But if you go into the gallery labs and change this from default to legacy video seek bar, you'll get back the good old video seek bar whenever you play a video. And in my opinion, this is way more accurate and better. So let's go back to the gallery labs and here one more useful feature that you can enable is timeline in album. So once you enable this, whenever you open an album, so let's open the camera album, you'll notice that all your photos and videos are now grouped by date. So this is a side by side comparison and I think grouping by date is a good idea. So lots of cool and awesome features to play around with in the gallery labs. So many of you guys will know that WhatsApp has a feature where you can send a message and then later on you can delete the message. And if you are on the receiving end, this can be very annoying because then the message has already disappeared. But if you have a Samsung Galaxy, there is a setting that you can enable which will allow you to see the message that was deleted. So what you want to do is go into the settings and then go to notifications. Inside, tap on advanced settings and then notification history. And here you'll be able to see the message that was deleted. Awesome, right? And by the way, this feature is switched off by default so you will have to enable it before it can keep a track of your notifications. Now did you know that you can add video call effects to pretty much any video call that you are making through any app on your Samsung Galaxy smartphone? You can do a bunch of things like blur the background which is very important for privacy. You can change it to a color or even add your very own custom background. So that looks awesome. There is also an option to change the color tone so you can change the temperature of the video or change its brightness. And you've even got voice enhancements, so if you want, you can change it to voice focus to eliminate any background noise. So lots of things to play around with. You know what? Let me show you how to enable this feature. All right, so what you wanna do is go into the settings and then scroll down to advanced features. Inside here, look for video call effects and switch this feature on. Now inside you can customize a bunch of things like create your very own background color if it's not listed here. Or you can even add your very own background image by tapping over here and selecting a picture from the gallery. And at the bottom it's gonna show you the apps that are compatible with this feature and more apps are gonna appear in this list as you install them. Now, what if your hands are dirty or you're busy doing something and you get an important phone call? Well, in this case, you can tell the phone to answer call. And there you go. The phone will answer the call and put the speaker on for you. That is super convenient, right? But to use this feature, you will first need to enable it. So what you want to do is locate and open the Bixby app. And when you do, tap on the settings button to go into Bixby settings. And here, make sure talk to Bixby without wake up is switched on. Alright, so check this out. I'm gonna highlight some text in the web browser. And now, I'm gonna tap and hold the highlighted text until it separates out like this. Now what we can do is paste this text in any app on the phone. For example, let's use our thumb and open WhatsApp. And once we let go of the finger, it will paste the text in the chat automatically. So there you go. Awesome, right? And once you get a hang of this, it's actually easier than manually copying and pasting text across different apps. So you guys already know that if you double tap the side key, well, it's gonna launch the camera. But did you know that you can make this button do pretty much anything you like? 
For example, you can press and hold the side key and the flashlight is gonna switch on. To switch it off, again press and hold the button. You can even set the button to unmute or mute all sounds. That is awesome, right? So let me show you how it's done. Now the built-in side key settings are pretty basic and this will not allow you to set anything other than Wake Bixby or show you the power off menu. So what we are gonna do is download and install the GoodLock app from the Galaxy Store. You can see I've already got the GoodLock app installed so let's launch this. Now inside the GoodLock app, tap on Life Up and download the Registar module. Once you do, open it and tap on the side key press and hold action. And from this list, pick whichever action that you want the side key to perform whenever you press and hold the side key. I personally prefer the flashlight option because it works even when the screen is switched off. Now check this out, I'm gonna double tap the back of the phone and watch what happens. So double tapping the back of the phone takes a screenshot and opens the share panel. Now tapping the back of the phone thrice opens YouTube. So that is awesome. So this is another feature of the Registar module. So to configure what happens when you tap the back of your phone, go into back tap action in the Registar module. From here, you can assign different actions depending on what happens when you double tap or triple tap the back of your phone. So you've got tons of customizability. Animated GIFs are easier to share than videos. They even autoplay in some apps like WhatsApp. So what do you do if you want to create an animated GIF out of your very own videos? The thing is, if you select a video and then select the create GIF option, it's going to show can't add videos to GIFs. So there is no feature in the gallery that lets you turn your videos into animated GIFs. But here's a hack that you can use and turn any videos, including YouTube videos into animated GIFs by using the smart select edge panel. So let's turn Mudahar into a GIF. So all you have to do is open the Smart Select Edge panel and then select the Animation option. Make sure that the recording area is positioned properly. We will change the quality to standard and then play the video and hit the record button. And that is it guys. Your GIF has been created and it will be in the gallery. And there you go, that's the GIF that we just created. And now you can share this with whoever you want. Gotta say, this one turned out really nice. Now obviously for this to work, you'll need to make sure that the Smart Select Edge Panel is enabled from the Edge Panel settings. So what you wanna do is open the Edge Panels and then tap on the gear icon. And from this list, make sure that the Smart Select Edge Panels is enabled. Okay, so here is what I want you guys to do. Head on into the settings and then tap on connections. Then tap on Wi-Fi and here tap on these three dots and select intelligent Wi-Fi. Now here repeatedly tap on intelligent Wi-Fi until you see a message which says you are now a Wi-Fi developer. So as you can see this unlocks a hidden menu which contains a couple of settings. The most useful one is the nearby Wi-Fi information. So this is going to show you which wireless network is the strongest in your area. And you can tap on any of these networks that are listed to see where they appear on the graph. And there's also the channel utilization tab which will tell you which channel is the best for your Wi-Fi network. So this way you can tweak the setting on your wireless router. Cool right? Now, if you've got a Galaxy Note or the S22 or the 23 Ultra, you can sign PDF documents using the S Pen with the built-in Samsung Notes app. Let me show you how it's done. Alright, so open the Samsung Notes app and then tap on the PDF button. Now open the PDF file that you want to add your signature to. Once you open the file, tap here to open the drawing tools. Then select the color and the thickness of the pen and then go ahead and sign your document. And there you go. Once you are done, you can save the PDF as a file, then mail it or print the document. Awesome feature, right? Believe it or not, but one of the most common questions that I get on the channel is how to activate the call recorder, which is actually very easy. So whenever you make or receive a phone call, tap on these three dots and then select record call. 
and that is it. The phone will start recording the call. Now the settings for the call recorder are in the dialer. So what you gotta do is open the dialer and then tap on these three dots and then go to settings. Now here select record calls. So here you've got a couple of options and you can even set this to automatically record calls whenever you make or receive a call. And you can even set this to record call for unsaved or for specific numbers. And also keep in mind that this is not available on every Samsung Galaxy. If recording calls is not legal in your country, then Samsung will remove this feature. The availability of the call recorder depends on where you've purchased your smartphone. Also, while you're in the call settings, you also might want to go into the call display while using apps and enable keep calls in pop-up. You see, what happens is if you have selected the small or the mini pop-up option while using other apps and get an incoming phone call, what happens is that as soon as you answer the call, the calling screen takes over the entire phone and whatever you were doing is now in the background. Annoying, right? But if you enable the keep calls in pop-up option, your apps will not get minimized whenever you get an incoming phone call. So you can do whatever you were doing and still keep talking on the phone. So I think this is a feature that you should absolutely enable. I've seen a lot of people taking photos of documents like this. So don't just take photos of documents like this. Instead, tap on this yellow button and the phone will automatically detect the document and crop the photo for you. You'll also get an option to extract text out of documents, which you can copy and paste wherever you want. That is amazing right? By the way, for this feature to work, make sure that scene optimizer and scan documents is enabled in the camera settings. Alright, so let's keep it nice and short this week. And guys, if you have enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, share the video with family and friends and subscribe to the channel. And this is Tech Guy Charlie, signing off.